Hi friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So in this tutorial, we'll just continue with the shell scripting. We'll see how we can print. Okay. So now let me create a file called uh, demo dot sh, and here inside this file, I'm going to type something called echo mm, hello world. Okay. This is the simple way of uh, printing a line. Then escape wq. And now let me execute the shell script program. You can see hello world gets displayed, right? So now uh, if I want to create a variable and I want to put something into my variable and then display it, how to do that is just say vi. We are going back to the same scripting file. Now insert here. Uh, what I'm going to say is var this is my variable name so in the previous i mean sorry in the other pro programming languages we know that whenever we are specifying a variable we'll be specifying the type of it right data type like uh, whether it's a uh, whatever like whether it's a variable like is a string type or the numerical type or a char var char all those things in shell scripting there's nothing there's no requirement of uh, specifying what kind of type it is just you need to mention the name of the variable like as i mentioned here i can say var1 and then equal to specify this just give the data whatever you want to store in that variable i'll just mention 100 okay so in order to display this particular variable you need to say echo and the variable name simply you cannot say uh, var1 if you do like this what happens is you can see it I'll just uh, run the script. You can see just var1 gets displayed. You cannot do that. So in order to display the content of that variable, you need to mention it as um, dollar var1. So make sure whenever you want to display something from the variable, make sure that you are specifying dollar, you are prefixing the dollar along with the variable name. Okay. So now when I escape and run the script you can see 100 gets displayed so hello world 100 so this is how we need to print the uh, the whatever contents you want from the scripting from the script so in the next tutorial we'll see how we can uh, read the uh, content from the keyboard and how to display that so hope this tutorial was useful and uh, thank you very much for watching